Hello everyone, in this video I will share the follow-up question of describe a crowded place you have visited. Q card. So okay, without wasting further time, let's begin. So the first follow-up is where do young people like to go? Young people often gravitate toward trendy urban sports, embarrassing the vibrant ambience of cafes, hip trees and nightlife venues, social hangouts such as music festivals. Art exhibitions and cultural events also captivate their interest. Outdoor adventures like hiking trails, beach outings and recreational parks provide avenues for exploration. Additionally, takes away youths are drawn to gaming, arcades, virtual reality experiences and online communities that cater to their interests, fostering connections in both physical and digital realms. So move on the second question that is are people happy living in crowded apartments? The level of happiness in crowded apartments can vary. Some individuals appreciate the convenience, vibrant atmosphere and access to urban amenities. However, for others, the lack of personal space, noise and limited privacy may negatively impact their well-being. Factors like cultural upbringing, personal preferences and adaptability influence how individuals perceive and experience living in crowded apartments. Ultimately, happiness in such settings depend on individual perspectives and their ability to cope with the environment. So, move on the next question that is, which scenic sports will have cues of people? Scenic sports that often attract crowd include iconic landmarks like the Eiffel Tower in Paris, the Grand Canyon in the United States, the Great Wall of China, and the Taj Mahal in India. National parks such as Yellowstone and Yosemite in the U.S. of Machu Picchu in Peru are also popular destinations. Famous beaches like Bondi Beach in Australia and cities like Venice with its canals draw significant crowds, resulting in queues due to their widespread appeal and breathtaking beauty. So move on the next question that is, what are the advantages of living on a higher floor? Living on a higher floor offers several advantages. It often provides better views of surroundings, offering picture square vistas and more natural light. Additionally, higher floors usually experience reduced street noise, creating a quieter living environment. Enhanced security and increased privacy are common benefits as well as potential improved air circulation and fewer pests. However, accessibility concerns in case of elevator malfunctions and higher costs might be drawbacks associated with higher floor living. So move on the next question that is, what are the advantages of living on a lower floor? Living on a lower floor offers certain advantages. Accessibility is easier, especially in case of elevator malfunctions or emergencies. Lower floors often enjoy quicker access to the building's entrance and amenities. They might also be more cost-effective compared to higher floors. Furthermore, lower level may feel cozier and provide a stronger sense of community due to proximity to shared spaces. However, lower floors might experience more noise from street-level activities and lack panoramic views typical of higher floors. So move on the next question that is, what do you think of the phenomenon of people queuing in restaurants for more than an hour? The phenomenon of long queues at restaurants reflects their popularity often driven by exceptional food quality, unique dining experiences or cultural significance. People willingly wait for extended periods due to anticipation, social media influence or the restaurant's prestige. For many, it becomes a testament to the establishment's value creating a sense of exclusivity. However, prolonged waits might deter some customers, impacting overall satisfaction despite the culinary appeal affecting both customer experience and business turnover. So move on the next question that is, is there a completely quiet place? Achieving absolute silence is challenging due to natural or artificial ambient sounds. Remote locations such as deserts or scheduled fosters offer serene environments with minimal human-generated noise. Underwater areas can also be relatively quiet, specially designed soundproof rooms aim for near total silence. But even these spaces might have faint background noises like air conditioning or electronics. Achieving complete silence is rare due to the persistent presence of subtle environmental sounds. So move on the next question that is, 
डू यू लाइक टू गो द प्लेस वेयर देयर आर मैनी पीपल वेल इट डिपेंड्स ए लोट ऑन माई मूड वैन आई फील लाइक सोशलाइजिंग आई लाइक टू विजिट क्राउडेड प्लेस लाइक रेस्टोरेंट्स एंड मॉल्स एट दिस प्लेस वैन आई सी लोट ऑफ पीपल हु आर स्माइलिंग एंड इंजॉइंग देयर टाइम आई गेट लोट ऑफ पॉजिटिव वाइब्स सो मूव ऑन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज डू यू लाइक द प्लेस विद लार्ज स्पेस ऑफ कोर्स आई लव प्लेस विद एम्पल स्पेस बिकॉज ऑफ देयर एडवांटेजेस they offer freedom of movement enhanced privacy and a sense of openness which some individuals find comforting large spaces like park spacious room or expensive landscape allows for various activities recreational opportunities and a feeling of tranquility nevertheless preferences for space can vary widely among individuals depending on their comfort and lifestyle preferences so move on the next question that is What are the places which attract many people in your country? In India several places attract large crowds due to their cultural, historical and natural significance. The Taj Mahal in Agra in UNESCO World Heritage Site draws millions annually with its architectural beauty. The Golden Temple in Amritsar is religiously significant for Sikhs is another major attraction. Cities like Delhi, Mumbai and Jaipur feature iconic landmarks, bustling markets and historical sites that captivate numerous visitors. Goa's beaches and Kerala's backwaters also allure a considerable number of tourists. So move on the next question that is what do you think is the most important thing of a public event? The most important aspect of a public event is ensuring a positive and engaging experience for attendees. factors like clean organization adequate facilities and smooth logistics contribute significantly providing valuable content entertainment or relevant information tailored to the audience interests and need is crucial additionally fostering a safe and inclusive environment encouraging interaction and networking among participants and leaving a lasting impression are vital for the success and impact of a public event so move on the next question that is What are the types of problems that can be better solved by group work? Group work is particularly effective for tackling complex problems that benefit from diverse perspectives and collaboration. Challenges requiring innovative solutions, brainstorming or multiple skill sets often thrive in group settings. Tasks involving extensive research, large scale projects, creating problem solving and decision making benefits from pulling various viewpoints and expertise. Additionally tasks requiring multiple steps or division of labor can be more eff- efficiently handled through group collaboration fostering shared responsibility and collective achievement so move on the next question that is what kind of places do people want to go to when they want to be alone when seeking solitude individuals often gravitate towards serene and peaceful settings nature reserves Sacuses beaches quiet libraries or uh, terrain quill parks provide opportunities for solitary reflection some prefer personal spaces like bedrooms private gardens or cozy corners in cafes to unwind retreats meditation centers or remote cabins in the countryside are also popular choices for those seeking solace away from the bustle of daily life fostering a sense of calm and introspection so move on the last question that Why is it sometimes important for people to be alone? Solitude offers crucial benefits for personal well-being and growth. It allows individuals to recharge, reflect on thoughts and emotions, fostering self-awareness and mindfulness. Being alone encourages creativity, independence and decision-making skills. It enables people to decompress from social pressure, reduce stress and cultivate a deeper understanding of oneself. Alone time also promotes clarity of mind, aiding in problem solving and providing space for introspection and personal development. So, okay, everyone, that is the end of all of this question. If you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.